28th. I have three days before my exam start. I'm not very happy about these stats, but I think right now I want to do a little bit of CRPC. I have six subjects this time and let's just say that I'm done with none. Guys, passing and failing really doesn't matter in life. Like our marks really what we want ourselves to be judged by. Marks mean nothing. I should study. in one day so per so I have my exam and I spent three four hours in the college didn't really get anything done that is exactly what you want two days before the exam and now I'm headed back to my room uh, I feel a little unwell so maybe I would want to take like a quick power nap. I really hope that I don't wake up after 12 because that will be very, very depressing. Um, I will literally cry. Uh, I don't know. Let's see. Let's see. We need to get shit done. I will fail or else. Um, cool. I have exams tomorrow and I have a fever. I lit a candle. Is that a fire hazard? Maybe. Do I care? Do I look like I care? I look like I'm dead. I don't understand why all of this happens like the moment before I have an exam. I think sick once in a while reminds you of what it was like to be fine and how you did not. Can you believe this semester has come to an end? What's your one takeaway from this semester? Takeaway? I don't know, like, I, I used to, I'm anyway in the habit of watching a lot of interviews. I was a child of to watch a lot of interviews, random people. And a lot of things like, don't take yourself too seriously. And I never used to understand what it meant. Like, what do you mean don't take yourself too seriously? Yeah, I don't understand this. But now I get it. What? Like, just don't take yourself too seriously. What does that mean? Just like, go with the flow. I don't understand this. Like, don't be too self-important. You're, you're using more expensive words to explain a simpler topic. Like, don't give too much importance to one. To yourself? To myself, yeah. It's that time of the year again. Um where I've had to burn this candle because I, I don't know why it's just this is a coping mechanism at this point I have an exam to write in I'm so bad at math Eleven. 15 hours before your exam you would want to be in a place where you're revising things. Let's just say that- I'm not. So- um, That's not very good. I'm really stressing out right now. Um, and this is a difficult subject. Uh, I didn't necessarily score very good in the internals. So I'm already stressed about this. I have my Juris paper tomorrow. Freaking out, freaking out majorly. But it's fine. I'll do as much as I can. Because because that's just how things are supposed to be. I don't know. It was not bad. It was really bad. <laughs> I forgot to film in the morning when both of us were talking. You know what else you forgot? Like, to study. Yeah, that also. <laughs> I've been dying. I'm dying. 
Oh my god, juniors! Tria! Yeah. Hi! How's your paper? I'll say hi. Bad. Same. He snatched the paper from me. I hate him more now. Same. I was more like, than my uh, dad. So, the, how's your paper? Good only. You the top. Vlogger. Vlogger. She literally came down early and the paper was so lengthy. Very yeah. lengthy. What was your I I to write about 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 feminist feminist only. only just wrote critical critical race, 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 black black Great. It's going so so well. I'm so happy with the way our paper has been. while i think i got up around 6:30 i went to sleep around 12 so i've had 6 hours of sleep which is not very common for me during exams but in today's paper we have the bare acts allowed so i don't know it's just a little more relieving to know that i don't have to mug up sections and i can just answer questions based on the application of my mind and my understanding of the concepts rather than spending my time in mugging the concepts so right now all i need to know is uh, where all of these sections are and um, just a few cases here and there which is what i've been trying to do right now but it's already so exhausting i cannot believe I have four more exams to write, and the worst part about all of it is that it's continuous. So I don't have like a single day of break in the middle, which is taxing. And company law and administration are very difficult subjects for me, especially company. I think, and admin is difficult because it has a lot of cases. So let's see how I fare today. Um. I am just going to revise some things and then take a bath and head out. Alright, I have three papers down. I have three more to go. I just woke up from a nap. I am going to the mess because the thang pointed out that today is the last day that I can make myself a vada pav in the mess. And although I don't particularly enjoy it that much. It is the last one of the semester, so I'm going anyways. Also, I think I need coffee.
woke up after a nap, went to the mess and got myself some coffee. It's really hot right now. I can't drink that. I am done with most of my main subjects. Done with four exams. Two to go. Um, so yeah, today is a Wednesday. Thursday and Friday, and then I'll be done. It's the day. It's the day of my last exams. Um, I'm dying. I'm dying. We have German, and turns out you can't learn German in one night. But I tried. I tried as much as I could. I'm. I've learned my numbers a little bit. Null. Eins. Zwei. This has been one of the most stressful exam seasons, like ever. I have been extremely stressed the past week, and I cannot believe, for the life of me, that this semester has come to an end. That is. It's unbelievable. Just like that, just half my law school journey is over. So, after today's exam, it will be five out of ten semesters, which is exactly half. So somehow I've reached the halfway point, and that is very overwhelming. The exam got over. Give review of exam season. What's a video? Yeah. Can I please sit? <laughs> yeah. Oh, you need a review of the exam season. Exam season, you. I yeah. think it has to be one of the retake. <laughs> <laughs>